So one of the great things about being a radio host is you get some behind-scenes access. So I'm with Steve Mandel from an incredible concert. So welcome to the Tilda Center. And what was it like? And, and, and tell me about the tour in general. Well, that's actually, we, don't, we kind of just do one out here and there. You know, every once in a while we do, uh, if it's real busy, like in the summertime, we'll do like weekends. I think that the tour itself uh, is kind of an ongoing uh, we don't ever stop touring. It's always touring. you mean like Bob Dylan's like never-ending tour kind of thing. Yeah, except we don't like stay out for months at a time. We're out for a long weekend, and that's it. You know. Where, where are your favorite places to play? Um, wow, I don't really know. We love coming to New York, obviously. And this room was actually we were talking about it. It had uh, it sounded really really good in here tonight. So it was good to see any place you can go and you can hear really well, and the crowd's real receptive. Well you, well, you know what's kind of cool about um, a facility like this? You could actually go into the crowd, not worry about getting, you know, mauled or anything right. like that. Or and, and, you know, you could just see that the fans are just incredibly devoted. Yeah. You know? So, so, tell, so tell me about a little bit about the songwriting process, your participation and all that good stuff. And, you know, I mean, uh, Charles was talking about some of the things that you wrote together. Mm-hmm. Talk, let's talk about that. Let's really t- put a little, you know, headlight on that. All right. Well, we... Uh, a lot of times, you know, we think about things that might be good for the show, you know, like um, there's something going on in the storyline and, you know, we'll have an idea and that'll kind of be a germ of a song and then we'll just, it'll just kind of come from that. And sometimes we're just, you know, we one of us has a, a good song idea and we just, just try to hash it out. That's what we do in Nashville. We just get together and, you know, bang our heads together and try to get some good Get some good songs and see what you come up with. I'm always curious about the songwriting process. Do you always walk around with like a pad or something just because you, or, or like sleep next to things in case you wake up in the middle of the night and yeah. you need to write something? It down? used to be a pad, now it's called an iPhone. And we ever, you know, in their little notes section, there's like this massive list of song ideas and little uh, voice memos of, of ideas that you got. Yeah, that's what everybody does. So, what, what are the, your favorite songs to play live on stage, you know, with the band? Um, Chip's a great songwriter, you know, and a lot of his stuff is real interesting musically. Um, I've been with him in the studio producing some of the stuff with him, so it's fun to create all the things, you know. It's just neat to watch. With it's a it's a great band, and we, um, you know, we we know we you know when we're in the studio that we can recreate all of it live, you know. So I don't know. It's hard to pick, you know. I obviously like the ones that we write together, you know, but. Uh, you know, the covers are fun, and I don't know, whatever makes the crowd light up. I, 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 I really enjoyed a little Elf, that Elvis moment. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Well, that was the first time he's ever done that. So we Is that up. right? Oh, that was cool. <laughs> that was cool. So, let's talk about the show. The show, the show re- I, I'm a fan, and my whole fan, my, my wife's a huge <laughs> fan. Um, you know, let, I, I don't want to get anything about the future, but let, you know, what is it like sort of being a whole part of it in terms of sort of making the music? Because unlike other shows... You have music in your show, and you have to have music, like, all the time. And it's got to be, like, pegged to the storyline and maybe kind of revert back to old stories. That's got to add a completely different dimension to television that doesn't exist in any other kind of a television show. Well, there's a lot. There's a massive team of people that, you know, that make sure the songs match up to the storyline. And um, there's a massive amount of songs that are being pitched for the show or songs that are being written for the show and things like that. You know, as far as, you know, us creating it, or recreating it, or look like we're recreating it on the TV show. Um, there's also another a big panel of people that make sure that we have, you know, all, everything that we're playing is exactly like the rest. So it looks authentic. It's one of the reasons that they have real bands and real musicians play on the on the show because they know that everybody can recreate it. So it's it's actually a it's a pretty it's a pretty lengthy process, you know, trying to get it right. And and by the time it gets to us, it's, there's been a massive you know culling of songs and and um, so it's a, it's a pretty big process. You spent a lot of time in Nashville. Yeah, we live there, so we spend all of our time in there. So is, this, is the music just like in the flow of the city, like in the veins, so to speak? There's actually a lot of Nashville that doesn't really have anything to do with music at all, but the, 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 the songwriting and the music community in Nashville is actually pretty small. Really? It's, it's like a small town. Everybody knows each other. Everybody roots for each other. Um, on a certain level, you know, and there's, uh, it's actually, it's a very, it's very healthy, you know, and, uh, and there is, but there is a lot of music. I mean, every, every waiter is a, well, I'm also a songwriter or I'm also a guitar player or whatever, you know, so it's a lot of, a lot of musicians. It draws a lot of musicians in town. Some of them don't take as much initiative as they, they just want to move to Nashville and say that they did it and then they move away, you know, but the ones that stay and hang around a long time, it's a, it's, it's a great town for that. Where did you, where did you grow up? I grew up in West Texas, San Angelo, Texas. Wow. <laughs> so, so how did, how did you get from West Texas to Nashville? It was actually... Other than by, you know, driving. <laughs> it was a, a very unceremonious uh, decision. My roommate said, hey, I want to go to Nashville and, 
and uh, write songs. Why don't you come join me and share the bills? And I was like, okay. So that was I was 23 then. So that was uh, back in 1987. So it was a long time ago. Um, and I, it was just a decision just to go and just see what we can make happen. Actually, the the guys that are in the band with me, uh, Chuck Tilly and the drummer and uh, John Howard, the bass player, um, we all played with Lee Greenwood back in the 80s. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, so yeah. we've known each other and playing together, music together for a long time. Wow. How many of the bands have you been in in your career? I, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch. Wow. Um, do, do you see your songwriting craft changing because you're more involved in television as opposed to sort of just being kind of free floating out there? Um, I don't know if it's because of television. I think that you, maybe if you're trying to write something specifically for the show or, I mean, I, I think I've learned things musically because of the way that they produce the music on Nashville. It's not really, you listen to the radio and listen to the songs on Nashville, they're not necessarily the same thing. Um, a lot of the stuff on the radio is a little bit hard to listen to. The stuff on uh, uh, on Nashville is all is the songwriting. There's no parameters as far as, you know, what they want, the criteria that they want to have for the radio. So they have a lot more leeway and a lot and a lot wider, um, um, oops, excuse me, a lot wider uh, array of uh, styles and things that they can do. And, and a lot of stuff is kind of a little more toward the Americana, and um, and it's a lot more, it's a, it's a bit more musical, I think. You know, so I don't know. I think that that uh, those two don't really meet, you know, totally all the way. All right. Well, I really appreciate your time. I thank you for being with us and uh, Steve Mandel. All right, thank you. All right, thank you.